Now we're going to talk about the area of our new um, transformed parallelogram. Okay, so uh, in the previous video, I talked about uh, how these points here of this square, how they transform under matrix uh, transformation. So we had the point 0, 0, 0, 1, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1. Okay, um, and we want to examine how the area of this square transforms uh, in this situation. Okay, and this idea of area, it's related to the concept of determinant. Okay, uh, the determinant is something that most students of linear algebra, they memorize the equation for it, but they do not understand where it comes from, and they don't know the geometrical interpretation of what the determinant in fact is. We're going to remedy that in this uh, video here. Okay, so what is the area of our original square? Well, this side is of length one, and this side is of length one. So the area of this square is 1, which makes things nice and simple uh, when we want to compare uh, the situation with the transformed parallelogram. Okay, If we turn now to uh, the new transformed parallelogram, um, you can see that uh, this point here, for instance, is at a plus b comma c plus d from the previous video. Okay, that we can build a, a rectangle from this parallelogram. Okay, why? Because we can call this side of this triangle A, and we have a square here of side BC. Then we have a triangle of side D, B, uh, and a square of BC again. Okay, so we can make a rectangle out of this uh, parallelogram, so making use of its symmetries, if you like. Uh, this point you'll remember is a along the x and um, c up the y. So that's point AC. This point, for example, is b along the x and d along the y. So that's why we're uh, able to write this diagram as it is. Okay, so we want to understand what is the area A of our new parallelogram. Well, it's the area of the, the rectangle here, which is a plus b times uh, c plus d. That's the area of the whole rectangle. But we must subtract off. There are two rectangles here. 2 times b times c. Okay, take those areas away. And we also must subtract the two triangles with side d, c, and the two triangles with side sorry, with side DB and the other triangle with side AC. So we must subtract off two times half the base by the perpendicular height. So two times half A times C minus two times minus two times this time half B times D. Okay, so uh, let's multiply this out and see what we get. So we get AC plus AD plus BC plus BD minus 2BC minus AC minus b d okay so far so good let's see um so that gives us that gives us a c cancelling and b d Cancelling. So we're left with AD plus BC minus 2BC. And that is equal to AD minus BC. Okay, and that is the area of our new transformed parallelogram. This, uh, this formula AD minus BC, that's given a special name. It's called the determinant. 
okay, uh, the determinant. So how we write that is normally if our transformation matrix is A, B, C, D, and we call it M, then we say the determinant of M is A, B, and B, C. Okay, it's the first element here times the bottom right element here, minus this one min times this one. Okay, you can also write that with square brackets, so A, B, C, D is equal to A, B, minus B, C. Okay, we, these are interchangeable uh, notations. So, determinant of matrix M, or you can write the determinant with two straight lines here. Okay, and it's, uh, as you can see, related to um, the area uh, of the parallelogram post-transformation. So it actually, it's, it's some kind of, um, it gives you a, a, a measure of a change in area uh, under this transformation.